Hi, I'm Siobhan McDonald. I'm the author of Hilda's Story, New Bedford, Massachusetts. And I have a really nice guest here with me today to meet you. Mom, Hilda McDonald, thanks for coming. Oh, Siobhan, <laughs> this is lovely. You did say there would be lunch. Yes, there's lunch included. <laughs> Food is very important. <laughs> it certainly is. And we're celebrating. And we talked about that a little bit in Hilda's story. Some of the things you celebrated growing up, there were a lot of um, pages about sort of the domestic activities, but I'm glad you brought up the celebration because this front cover photo is one of my favorite of you. And I happen to have a larger copy of it. She would. I wanted, because I love this photo, and I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about this. It definitely looks like a celebration. I always assumed it was a birthday party. Yes. My birthday, once again, <laughs> was the high expectations in the neighborhood. And um, you can see why we're all dressed. And I am the birthday girl. Um, my best friend Loretta. This I'm not certain how soon we forget. And is this in your yard? In my backyard. In your yeah, backyard. We always had a wonderful birthday time. And did you did your mom bake the cake for your birthday? Like what typically happened for a party in the nineteen forties and fifties? Like, everything, everything. We just had good food. We had a cake. I'm certain my mother baked. Mm -hmm. And lots of gifts. And banana curls, we call these, oh, right? Stop. Tell me about that. How did you get those? Well, Shirley Temple was pretty big in those days, and I would go to bed at night with rags around my oh, hair, my and then it would just fall. So a lot of girls wanted to look Oh, like yeah, 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 we yeah. all did, yeah. And yeah. it was, it was lovely. I always did well at my parties. Yeah, yeah. you like you don't mind being the center of attention. That's you know. as well it should be. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed getting to know Hilda, Mom, a little bit better. You can read more about Hilda and Hilda's story in New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's available on Barnes at Barnes and Noble and on my website, Granger Street Studios. 